Hi everyone, today I'm going to carve this slab into a barstool seat on the CNC router. This is the first 3D carve I've ever done on this machine, so it should be a good time. Let's go. I'm starting by planing this down so it's completely flat. Once the first side is planed flat, I can flip this over and flatten the other side. I also want to take a moment to say that this is local salvaged maple that Brooke and I slabbed and dried here at Maker's Workshop. It has some really beautiful grain patterns and I love getting to work with local salvaged materials. Now it's time to carve the shape of the seat. First goes a flat end mill to remove the bulk of the material and carve out the basic shape. And then a smoothing pass happens with a round end mill to produce a nice smooth look. This step removes the least material of all, but takes the most time. Instead of doing a flip, I'm cutting this in two pieces that'll end up glued together. So once the first side was carved, I moved on to the second side. Start to finish carve time was about five and a half hours. Then it was time to get both halves glued together using a liberal layer of Type On 3. The carving process exposed a crack in the middle of the slab, so I took time to clamp that firmly in place during the glue up. Next time I do this, I think I'll stabilize the slab with resin before doing the carve, but in this case I added the resin after the glue dried to make sure that it was nice and solid. When the resin hardened, I sanded it down to a 220 grit. And then I got my finish on. I'm using Total Boat Halcyon Finish. It's really durable and wicks away water. This tool will be in a kitchen, so I thought it was a great option. And then I secured the stool to its barstool base. It's a nice, sleek, and functional look that should wear well over time. 